four months ago, I started my biggest project yet, and I could never have imagined that it would get to where it is today. Part one, I dug a hole. Part two, I put some dirt in that hole. Part three, that's what we will do today, where I will put a giant city in the middle of this hole and complete the project. Man, this is gonna be crazy to build them. Where do I even start? I guess I'll start off with a big castle right in the middle. I think we should have enough stone for this. Okay, so I've got the stone, but what I don't have is deep slate. So I'm gonna do a little bit of mining just here for that. Okay, so now I need to collect a bunch of different random blocks I'm gonna use for this thing. So I'm gonna go over here to the villager trading hall I built, which I've actually barely used. And I should be able to get all the resources I need from this. Okay, so I've got a bunch of random blocks here. So now all that's left to do is actually collect some wood. So I think I'm gonna go with a, just a bunch of spruce here. Okay, so we've collected everything, and that is the wood, the bricks, all the miscellaneous stuff, and the cobbled deep slate. Okay, so this is kind of the basic box right here. And then adding a couple towers on. Mm, that's still way too small. Okay, so I kind of just put a bunch of random rectangles all over the place, and now I'm just gonna get building and see how this... Okay, so I basically just did a bunch of experimenting and I settled on these kind of designs right here. So using what we have done already as reference, we should be able to get the rest of this done. So I'm gonna get working on just the base of each of these. Okay, so I've kind of gone in a bit here, so this whole part will be the first level of this main building. So now I wanna go out a bit again and make that second level. Okay, so I'm not really sure what next to do with this big tower, so I'm gonna get working on a bunch of the smaller towers and little kind of building things surrounding this one. So I finished. Well, not quite. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm missing a roof. And for this roof, I need three items. I need concrete, gold, and honeycomb. Yeah, easier said than done. Luckily, Sit sits online, so I'm gonna ask him and see if he has any raw gold blocks. I th you're getting raw gold blocks, right? Do you have some? Yeah, yeah, I have some. Here you go. I can go get some more, though. That would be awesome if you could. Before we can continue with the video, only a small percentage of my viewers are actually subscribed. So if you're enjoying the video, subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Hey, Fred, right, you, you just showed up, right? What do you what do you think of the place? I did indeed. Honestly, I love it. It's so cool. Uh, Fergie, do you want to go help me um collect some sand and gravel for concrete? So for the yellow That's concrete? a good idea. I will. So together we got all the concrete we would need. Man, I forgot how annoying mining concrete is. Now, the only thing we needed was honeycomb, and I know just the guy for the job. Gas, 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 gotta take up the gas. Holy crap! Holy crap! Holy crap! Holy crap! Holy crap. I mean, I mean, no, 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 and now we could finally get working on that roof. But at the moment it still looks like quite a mess, but I think once these roofs are on, it'll be looking pretty good. This doesn't have much detail yet, but overall I think this looks really cool. Okay, so I'm gonna call this complete for now and we'll do all the details and stuff when we do the interior. So now what I need to get working on is, well, the rest of this entire thing. I want to lay out where things will go with wool, but I don't have any. So I started looking for some sheep, but instead found something else. What the, what, what happened here? What the hell? Okay, that's weird. Um, I guess I'll keep looking for sheep. Ah, found one. I found a couple sheep and now all I had to do was get them down. Get, get them down. Yeah, that wasn't hard. I think this section is gonna become a farm, so I think we're just gonna put the sheep here for now. Now I just need to breed these guys up a bunch. Okay, I think this should be all the sheep that I need, and while breeding, I also got all of these dyes ready to go. Okay, we now have a bunch of different colored sheep, so now let's see how much we can get from one, like, shearing of all of them. So we got this much, so yeah, this is gonna take a while. Yeah, there's definitely fast ways of doing this. I did this for like four hours and I've gotten this much. All right, so now we can lay things out properly. Oh no, I've only done this much and I've ran out of wool. I guess we can just switch colors. 
Okay, the main roads are in and I'm gonna put in some houses before I put in any more roads. Okay, so I've actually just gone ahead and done all the wool for like this whole thing, all the planning. So you'd think what I'm gonna do now is build out these roads and houses, right? You're wrong. Because really what I'm gonna do now is build up the walls. So yeah, walls. I can't just leave them as this ugly mess with whatever mess this is. So I'm gonna build a design over the top. And for this, I need a lot of resources. I've been resource collecting and I'm pretty sure I have everything I should need. These here are all filled with wood. So yeah, I think we should just get building now. So I've gone through about three and a half of these walls here, but I've completely ran out of cobbled deep slate. So that means we need to get some more of that. Okay, so I've finished mining. So now it's time to just get back to building. Okay, so with this wall complete, we have now officially hit the halfway mark with this wall, with these walls. I mean, I don't really know what to say here. Like these walls have just been taking so long. Each one of these walls is like one to two hours and there's 10 of them. So yeah, it takes a while. Big thanks to Sit Sit and Fergu who have been helping me quite a lot with these walls. So that's, that's really good. It's been really speeding up the process here. So yeah, I guess we just gotta get back and finish off these ones. Okay, so this right here is the final brick. Okay, here we go. The final block and all of these bricks are now done. But as I was about to celebrate, I realized I was now gonna have to finish off the tops of all of these walls. So I guess I better get to it. Okay, so firstly I wanna build up each one of these towers here. Okay, so I've finished bringing up all 10 of these towers and now what I'm gonna do is design the walkway that's gonna kinda go in between. I came up with a design for what is basically bridges between the towers, and I got building. A lot of building. Once I finished the walkways, I then built a roof for every one of the towers. And I'm done. I have finished these walls, finally. I've done the walls, I've done the towers, and I've done these little walkways in between. I have done everything to do with these walls. So I know we spent a while on this castle, but I didn't really like it. And now I'd finished the walls. This thing looked tiny compared to everything else. So me and Sitsit got together and we decided to completely destroy this thing and rebuild it from scratch. This thing looks so cool. I am so happy I switched from the original design to this because this just looks so much better. And I've actually gone ahead and done kind of the interior here, but you'll notice what I haven't done is the end portal. And this right here is a detail that is actually the reason we built the overstone where it is. The entire thing is centered around this end portal sitting in here. So I need to come up with some kind of design for that now. And now it has to look so cool because I mean, that's what all of this was for. So I think I'm gonna use some end stone here. I don't really know how to explain this idea. So I'm just gonna cut to it. I think I've just accidentally made the sickest chandelier ever. <laughs> it's so cool though. Just like walking under here and seeing that effect. And this is what it kind of looks like from above. Yeah, I just, it looks sick. I'm happy with this. And now it is time for me to get working on the part of this build that I have been looking forward to for ages. And that is to build all of these little houses. So I'm just gonna get started. 
I started off building raised stone bases for each one of the houses we had laid out here. Alright, so now I've done all these platforms, I can get working on the actual houses themselves. But before we do that, we've got some resources we need to collect. The first of which being terracotta. And before I actually get mining, I'm going to set up a bit of a beacon here. You know you're rich when you run out of emerald blocks, but you have diamond blocks to use instead. Alright, time to get mining. Terracotta is all collected here, and now it's time to pack up and go home. So I thought there was a bunch of other resources I need to collect, but actually just by digging around in these chests for a while, I've managed to get everything I should need. But this chest monster really can't stay, I'm gonna have to clean this up at some point. But for now, let's not worry about that, and instead, let's get building these houses. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with this pretty basic house. Okay, so for this build, I just wanna experiment with some ideas and make sure that this style is actually gonna work before I build it with all of these other houses. Hmm, it's all right, but I don't really want to settle with all right for this build. This build I want to be amazing, so I'm going to try a couple different designs and then compare them. Okay, so I've been experimenting in a single player world for a bit now, and this is kind of the design that we would do that we had before, and I've created a kind of better one here, and then another one here with a different roof design. So I think I'm going to use these two as kind of like examples to build off of. So it's time to take these designs over into Origins and just get building. Okay, so I've finished this first house here and now it's time to get working on this house and this house just next to it. Okay, so that's that one done. Okay, so all three of these are done and I'm really liking this kind of style with all the different variances. I, I'm just really loving it. I think it looks great. So I think this is going to work really well with the rest of all of these houses. So I think that's what we just need to get started on now is just building the rest of these. messing around and I, I nose dived into the ground and then all my stuff dis like the, gl the glitch happened where all my stuff disappears oh no I logged off the server I had lost all of my gear and I felt like giving up I was already kind of stressed out because I was trying to finish this video in my last week of school and I had a bunch of homework. But no, I couldn't give up now. The next day I logged on and I just looked at how far I had come on this project. I couldn't give up now. I grinded back all of my items and even went as far as collecting some extra resources for the build. Now I'm ready for some serious building. Three years ago, before I'd even started this channel, I started watching Homecraft, and ever since, I had dreamt of building something incredible. Something that left you going, wow, a mega base. And now I was turning that dream into a reality. I built tons of houses, and once I was done with that, I built the roads, and I flooded the streets with tons of little details. Once I was done with all these houses, I got to work building the other two sections. weeks of building, it was done. Finally, done. Just as beautiful as I'd imagined. 